When I first read it, I felt that it was absolutely mine. I knew it was mine. I knew I had to do the audition. You've been reading it? <laughs> Your picture looks great. I had an immediate affinity for this character. There's a lot of Peyton in me. Morning, Chief. Don't call me Chief. This is not the Daily Planet. Don't ever ask anyone what they think of your column. I guess what I like the most about Peyton is that although she's very wounded, <sighs> the heart healer has no heart. She keeps going, and I, I do like that, because so much of the work that I've had to do on, a, on the soap opera, they really want to milk that, that victim-y kind of a thing. Um, and I like this take on it. It's, she's a stronger woman. I have all the readers I need, and to me, they are the only ones who count, and I owe it to them. We owe it to them to reveal the owner of the note in the heart healer. Essentially, Peyton is dealing with being blocked from herself. There's some part of herself that she won't go to. Why not write about how you, the heart healer, feel about loss? That doesn't work for me. Why not? It just doesn't. Talk about your perfect opportunity to write with emotion. I said no. I certainly can relate to that. You know, with the, the goody two-shoes, good soldier, child actress thing. That gave me tons of blocks. Yeah, there are a lot of similarities. I think I'll work on this at my place. Maybe a single serving can of soup can inspire a little passion. 